what's going on YouTube riding frame here again with a how-to video this time I got a couple you know questions and stuff on like how I do my air tanks and from like my trucks and I thought I'd show a little video my hot rod has an air tank in it so yeah but it's not hard it's super easy I've seen guys use triple A batteries for air tanks I've seen them use double A batteries for air tanks and to me it just doesn't look to scale it always looks off to me and I don't like it so I figured out a way to kind of make it my own what you need cheap big disposable pen those old crappy pins that you have sitting around the house you don't know what to do with they're cheap if you don't want to use an ink pen or like you know the big pins you can use like that styrene tubing I can't get it in my town so I don't use it I use what I got I use a sander stick this is one of those nail files with it with a piece of sandpaper stapled to it I use a little pipe cutter to cut the plastic or cut the piece some glue a good super glue because or a good you know strong glue because sticking some of these parts on are a pain piece of styrene plastic or in my case piece of for sale sign because I can't get styrene plastic again uh, pair of tweezers pair of clippers or scissors or whatever you got the thing uh small little beads you can get them at your local hobby store you can get them at a Joanne fabric you can get them at a Michaels um, there's probably tons of other places They're really small ones are smaller than hell all right so it's very very simple first take your plastic tube or pen in my case you know figure out what size you want your tank to be do you want it to be you know I mean I'm a scale guy I like having everything to scale and everything looks you know uniform so I try to keep it within the ranges of what a real air tank is you know so you got your three gallon air tank you got your five gallon you got you know your seven gallons eights tens I think there's 12 gallon air tanks I've built a lot of real mini trucks in my life and those are a lot easier to build than some of these models are shockingly but You take your pipe cutter, you put it on wherever you want it to be, go around and around with it until it cuts off the plastic where you want it. <clears throat> You'll end up with a small piece that looks like that, just a small little piece, nothing to it. Once you get that piece, you're going to take your plastic, if I can get it. You take your plastic styrene. Use the really thin stuff because it's it's better off. You know, you can see these for sale signs or nothing. You're gonna take that. I don't use this as a little vice since I only got one hand. You're gonna take that. You're gonna put a little bit of glue. You know, put your glue around the edge right there. And you're gonna glue it on there. Let it sit for you know a few minutes till it hardens, or if you have some of that, um, the little spray that you know makes your glue dry a little faster, then you know use that. It'll help a lot. Once you get it to that point where it's just a little piece, there's gonna be a little tab hanging on there, not this full piece. Take your clippers, take your whatever you use, your scissors, your little snips, whatever. And snip all that extra plastic off. You snip it all off till you end up with it looking kind of like that. Where it's just nice and smooth, it's all around. You may have to use your sander pad for, you know, just to clamp the edges a little bit to make it nice and smooth. Next, and this is probably the most 
pain in the ass part. But I'm a detail freak, so I deal with all the pain in the ass parts. You're going to take a little bit of your glue once everything's nice and smooth. And you got it, you know, to where you want it when you got it looking like a tank for the most part. And then you're going to take your plastic, figure out how many airports you want. Now, little airports are little spots where you hook all your air hoses to. You probably will not be able to see this, but you're going to take your tweezers, a little bit of glue, dab it in the glue, or you can dab the glue on however you want to do it. It's up to you. You're going to put all your air ports on where you want them, which will get you to this point where you have them all on. I mean, that's not all, it needs more. But you can put them on, you know, this is going to get one more on the front, it's going to get one more right there on the front, it's going to get two on the ends. Just doesn't have it yet. You know, you put them on there, get them where you want them. And then once you have everything done, ready, you can paint it, you can, you know, you pretty much have your air tank. I mean, you can paint it up, you can put chrome foil on it. Paint the tips brass or gold. I've used gold in the past and it worked out really well. And you know, hook everything up to it that you need compressors or whatever you've made for the project. And you have your little truck, or you have your little tank for your truck, or car, or whatever the case may be. It's simple, it's easy. It's not that difficult. I'll give you a little example. The tank I'm building right now is currently for my little 94 mini truck, which I already had a tank for, but then I redid it, and so now it's getting a new tank. It's going to sit right inside there. It'll look nice and clean. It'll look real. It'll look to scale. I've seen a lot of guys use the, you know, batteries, and it looks way big in the back end or it doesn't look to scale and but hope you guys dig it hope it works out for everyone and like always till next time later